how does a patient present to us with? The patient will present. So see, I have put mucosa first because mucosal involvement, as I told you, is present in almost 100% of the cases. What all mucosa may be involved? In mucosa, I can see oral mucosa, genital mucosa. So genital, may it can be vaginal mucosa, rectal mucosa, everything can be involved. Then you can have eye involvement, any of the mucosa may be involved, but the most common involvement is of oral mucosa. And how does it present with patient presence with? Now see, in mucosa also there will be formation of vesicle or bulla first. There will be formation of fluid fill lesion, but because of the constant chewing, talking, trauma, this vesicle or bulla will break off. So you hardly see a vesicle or bulla in the oral mucosa. What you see are erosions, erosions which are painful, non-healing and extending or spreading. So you typically have painful non-healing. So like a lot of times, they ca patients can have erosions in the muc oral mucosa, like there are aphthae and other things, but they heal. Here, the patient will come to you with erosions in the oral mucosa, which are non-healing, which are spreading gradually. So look at the image here. So this is an image of an erosion. And if you look at these erosions, they are extending. They are extending beyond their margins. Now, why this extension happens? Because see, a vesicle or a bulla has formed, but in the surrounding skin also, there is some separation of keratinocytes which have started, which may not have manifested clinically. So now the fluid will seep in to the surrounding area. So my erosions will tend to extend peripherally. This is a very, very classical feature of pemphigus vulgaris again, that erosions which are formed tend to extend peripherally. These can be present in the, on the tongue, on the lateral side of the tongue, on the buccal mucosa, on the heart palate. You can see erosions anywhere in the oral mucosa or other mucosa. What do you see in skin? So in skin, patient will typically present like this. There will be formation of vesicles which will increase in size to form bulla. But any bulla that is formed will rupture in two to three days to form erosions and these erosions will get covered by crust. So this is the normal course. So what all do you see? You see a vesicle which is a fluid filled lesion less than 0.5 centimeter in size. So these are all vesicles, small vesicles which are seen. Then you see these bulla which are large these vesicles eventually will turn into bulla. They will gradually expand. Another important thing, please look here. Again, if you look at the bulla, it is peripherally expanding. So in pemphigus, as I explained you, there is peripheral extension that you see and this is visible in the images here. These bulla will eventually rupture and when they rupture, the, the roof of the bulla will either settle down uh, like this, leading to settled bulla or they would lead to erosions which would eventually form crust over them. So these are various kinds of lesions that you see in a pemphigus patient. Now, when you see a bulla in pemphigus patients, remember what is happening. Now this is my epidermis and my split is somewhere here. So my roof of the bulla is formed by this. There is a layer of corneum, stratum granulosum and a part of stratum pinosum. But that's the thin roof that is there. So these bulla are actually flaccid bulla. So these bulla are actually flaccid bulla. What do you mean by flaccid? Flaccid is something like an old grape ya an old blown balloon. Jo balloon pehle fulaya gaya aur ab wo fus ho gaya. So it would be flaccid. It would not be very tense. Why won't it be very tense? Because the roof is formed by a little part of stratum spinosum, a little part of granulosum and corneum. If I had a thick roof, then my bulla would be tense. But here I see flaccid bulla. So 
टू अनदर इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग्स यू सी फ्लैसेड बुल्ला एंड यू सी इरोजन्स विच अगेन हैव टेंडेंसी टू स्प्रेड पेरिफ्रली सो अपार्ट फ्रॉम रीजन्स दैट यू सी दीज आर टू इम्पोर्टेंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स दैट यू सी हेयर राइट सो फ्लैसेड बुल्ला एंड इरोजन्स विच हैव टेंडेंसी टू स्प्रेड पेरिफ्रली now the symptoms that the patient has is more of discomfort there is no significant itching or pain in pemphigus vulgaris but patients can see vesicles they can see bulla they can see erosions and this causes discomfort to the patients now talking about the bulla i told you these bulla will eventually rupture in 3 to 4 days because eventually there will be some trauma you will scratch the bulla so they rupture in 3 to 4 days so this is what you see on the trunk what is the area where pemphigus vulgaris effect it can affect my trunk my limbs any area of the body may be affected right so this is a patient of pemphigus vulgaris and this is how it looks like there are vesicles there are bulla there are erosion so it's like if a patient presents to you in some time later in the course of the disease so this is all that you see you see these erosions which are spreading peripherally you see some settled bulla you see crusting and you might even see a pustule here so these pustule is nothing but vesicles or bulla which has got infected so you may see pustules also